I, I'm Wendy Tate Mayfield and I found my grandfather, William James Clark, in the 1921 census. I don't remember much about Grandad. He did leave me one thing. For my second birthday, he left me this little doll. And that's travelled with me everywhere I've been since, in all my moves of house. And it's just my little memory of Grandad. My grandfather's got a really common name, so he's been very hard to look for. I started the same as most genealogists do, asking the family, asking my father, my father's siblings, what do you know about your dad? And the answer was, well, actually, we don't really know very much at all. I got lots of stories about, oh, he was in the army. No, he wasn't. He was in India. No, he wasn't. And I didn't really know what to believe. So I spent a lot of time looking at records. I looked at online records as they became available. But... With such a common name, I really couldn't find him. So he's been incredibly difficult to find. So many times I thought I got close. I found a marriage for him in India. And I thought, oh, this must be him. It absolutely must be him. Right name, right father in India. But I couldn't prove it. There just wasn't that bit of proof. And with him having such a common name, it could have been another William James Clark. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't very hopeful with the 1921 census. I spent the previous day listing all the people I wanted to look for. And he was right at the bottom of the list because I just didn't expect to find him. I hadn't managed to find him in 1911. So when I got to his name, I put it in, I put his date of birth and I put his place of birth. And about half a dozen records came up and one of them just absolutely shone out at me because the place it was he'd been recorded was India. So I was straight in there. And as soon as I saw it, I did my usual thing. I have this thing I call triangulating the evidence. I look for a minimum of three points of matching facts to make sure I've got the right person. So I looked at his name, absolutely perfect, William James Clark, even spelt the right way with the E on the end. Date of birth was one month out. Hmm, wasn't quite sure about that, but married, yes, I knew he would have been married at the time. Staff Sergeant, that's what my dad always said he was. And India, he was in India. So it was all starting to come together. I didn't absolutely believe it at first because that one month discrepancy on the date of birth. So I went straight into the GRO indexes and checked. Were there any other William James Clarks born in London at around that time? And there wasn't. It could only be him. I was so thrilled when I realised after 25 plus years of searching, I'd finally found my William James Clark. So the first person I told was my husband. It was six o'clock in the morning. I didn't dare contact anybody else. So I went flying into the bedroom from my office, screeching that I found my granddad. <laughs> I was absolutely elated. I was so thrilled. When you've been working on your family tree for such a long time and you've had a 25 year brick wall, watching that collapse is amazing. And it meant so much to me because it was about validating all those family stories that my dad had told me. My dad passed away four years ago uh, and it's a little bit sad that I was never able to tell him that I'd matched up those records. But for me, it was a huge validation that the family stories are actually true. And now I've got a whole raft of of research I can go on to do.